Sunday this afternoon burn coffins to ashes. Can we say burn their coffins? Hallelujah. Say burn their coffins. Together we say one to go. Say burn their coffins to ashes. Burn their coffins to ashes. Today I came to fight. Hallelujah. Burn their coffins to ashes. Let's just remember following by what is happening. Every electricity supply has a power source. Every electricity supply has a power source. Likewise, every coffin has a power source. The source of the coffin, the power of the coffin is determined by the spirit of the grave. The power of the coffin, the strength of the coffin is determined by the spirit of the dead. But I like you to understand and to know that even though the coffin has power, even though the dead has power, I am talking about something, an entity that is living and has power. But I came to submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, there is another name called the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the mention of the name Jesus, I like you to understand. Even though the coffin has power, even though the bell has power, I came to submit to you. There's a higher power than that of the coffin. There's a higher power than that of the bell. That is the name of Jesus. I came this afternoon. In that name of Jesus, any coffin that they have prepared for you, right now, let it catch fire. You know me. In the name of Jesus, any coffin in your father's house, in your mother's house, that have been buried people on family. Verse 
verse number four, verse number fifty-five. Sorry, First Corinthians fifteen, verse fifty-five. It says, "Mate kabaya ibara shata." Verse number fifty-four says, "When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with the immortality, then." The same that is written will come to death has been swallowed up in victory. Number 55. What all day is your victory? What all day is your strength? So death has victory when Jesus is not there. But when Jesus is present, death has been swallowed. When Jesus is present, the sting of death has been swallowed. He said, What is your victory? What is your sting? Verse 56. He said, The string of death is sin. So when the sin is there, and he said, And the power of sin is in the law. I like verse number 57. He said, But come, someone say, Thank you, Lord. Someone say, Thank you, Jesus. I can only say, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Some of you are grateful to God. Say, so Thank you, Jesus. Say, so Thank you, Jesus. He said, But thanks be to God. He gives us victory to our Lord Jesus. But in the name of Jesus, I pray this afternoon. Ah, Baba, they are about to sacrifice somebody, but not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. I came this day to spoil that sacrifice. Anyone in your father's house, anyone in your mother's house, in your household, amongst your friends, that have caution and have been telling to sacrifice you, but is ever. That you will not rise. That is how that you will not make it. I stand as a servant 
my fire. Burn out my fire. Burn out my fire. Is it your mother? Let her burn out my fire. Is it your father? Let it burn out my fire. Your sister, burn out my fire. Your brother, burn out my fire. Your uncles are all, burn out my fire. Your niece and nephew, burn out my fire. Your friends, burn out my fire. I came not to play today. Hallelujah. Yeah. So God was hand in hand. One day, great that still. Because the grave is the final destination of the body. I will say, if you go back to where we read from, Psalms 49 verse 15, it says that God will redeem my life from the grave. So if God does not intervene, if Jehovah does not intercept, uh, that person might be buried. Uh, but he says, but God is of victory in Jesus Christ. So when Jesus shows up, death has no power. Because Jesus is called the immortal redeemer. When the immortal redeemer shows up, he redeems my soul from the grave. He redeems that human being, that sister from the grave. He redeems the brother from the grave. They may have buried you spiritually, but I pronounce the name of Jesus. Let the Lord show up. Let the Lord show up. Let the Lord show up. They might have buried you spiritually. I don't know. You are walking physically. They might have buried you spiritually. I pray. Anyone who wants to bury spiritually. Right now, that coffin, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Show us some fire. Show us some feeling, child. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I didn't say myself to the pastor. We can't ask this around. We have to stop them. Come on, I hear you. So, as I hear so there is a realm in the spirit called the great young realm. There's a realm in the spiritual realm. There's a realm in the, there's a place in the physical realm called the cemetery. The cemetery is not strong, but it is backed up by the great young spirit. Likewise, there's a realm in the spirit called the great young realm. Now, before they terminate somebody, they call your name in that realm. When they call your name in that realm, you answer. Once you answer, you die physically. Because they call you spiritually first before they call your body physically. They call you spiritually before they terminate you. I pray any, any evil voice from the grave right here, that realm of the grave that is calling your name, that is chanting your name. I don't know who is calling your name spiritual. Of the coffin and the grave. Remember the old hand. Number one, I like to 
understand. I like you to understand this gentlemen. That every coffin has a gate. Every coffin has a gate. Every grave has a gate. Before we enter this building, we pass through the gate. Before we say Happy New Year, we pass through the gate of the first night. That's the gate of the next year. Out here. Every room of the woman is a gate. A, 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 a woman's room is a gate from the spiritual to the natural. That's why conception is spiritual. I want together. As I went together, as I went together. So, in, so the, and, and that's why you notice that the enemy is looking for, the enemy is looking more for ladies to use because a woman spiritually is very powerful, unknown to many of us. A woman, that's why when the enemy gets hold of a woman, she becomes very wicked. Why? Because she's an entity in the heart of God. A woman is a creation. Let's never hear the word. So the womb of a woman is where uh, we live from one world to another world. That's why the womb is also called the womb has a gate. So every gate, ladies and gentlemen, every gate has a dead man. That's why the coffin has now the spirit of the dead. These are dead men of the coffin. So they try to bring the victims and put in the coffin. Hear me? Every gate has a dead man. Every gate has a security. I don't know what is standing at the gate of that coffin. I don't know what is standing at the gate of that grave that they want to bury you. Father, I pray right now, every spiritual dead man. Which is Saturday, standing at that coffin, standing at that gate. Right now, let them go down by fire. I command fire against them. I command fire against them. Every command of the coffin, every command of the grave in your father's house, I command fire against them. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, they have get spiritual gates. Where they use for demonic decisions. The coffin has a gate. Most of them. They used to summon people. You can be summoned at the gate of the coffin and you are delivered by prayers. It's easy when somebody is summoned at the gate of the coffin. When, they, when there's intervention by prayers, this person can be delivered easily. As compared to when the person is already lying in the coffin. Because in the coffins, you're already in the grip, you're already in the hands of the spirit of God. Out here. So they show up people at the gate and they make decisions at the gate of the grave. Have you not heard somebody died and came back to life? What happened? The decision was overruled. He said, Why did you bring this one? Not this one we wanted. Are you saying wanted to bring a KY? Not this one, not this one. This one, the blood is so bitter. Not this one. Someone said, Not my blood. I can hear you say, Not my blood. Someone said, Not my blood. Say, no, my daughter. Shall I speak to you, my uncle? Shall I speak to you, my uncle? I speak to you, my uncle. No, my Lord. In the name of Jesus. I speak to you, my aunt. No, my Lord. I speak to you, my father. No, my Lord. I speak to you, my mother. No, my Lord. I speak to you, my brother. No, my Lord. I speak to you, my sister. No, my Lord. She must say, no, my Lord. Say, no, my Lord. Say, no. No, my Lord. Some of you are dead. Your mother might be your problem. You might be fighting outside, but your mother is a problem. Or not to you. My mother, not my Not my blood. Your own blood will go, not my blood. Not my blood. It's a wicked man. Someone said, burn coffins to ashes. Burn coffins to ashes. So, one of the characters, number one, it's a place of separation. Ah, a place of separation and no communication. So when an entity is in that place, there's no communication. They are separated. Separated from friends, from the family, separated. And they are not living there alone. Number two, it is it, it robs people of their liberty. So inside there, there's no freedom. If you look at John chapter 11, verse number 44, there about, uh, it talks about the story of a man called Lazarus. And Lazarus died and was kept in the tomb. But when he died, the power of the grave, uh, they concluded that Lazarus is finished. Yes, and gentlemen, don't conclude my case because Jesus is coming. You didn't hear me? Don't conclude my case because the Lord is coming. Don't conclude my case because the Master is on his way coming. But they concluded on Lazarus. And, uh, even his own sister, not friend's sister, said, No, don't bother yourself, Master. He said, By this time, someone said, By this time. Someone said, By this time. His own sister. 
sister, will you come out? You say, don't bother, master. Uh, don't bother, it's okay. Many have come to condone with us. Many have come to sympathize with us. I pray, ladies and gentlemen, before I proceed, anyone planning to organize any condolence in your house, in the spiritual realm, that condolence, may you go back to Sega. You are joking. Uh, anyone planning to organize condolence in your house, let them be the one to go down in the hell. Let that condolence go back to the senders. Go back to the senders. Go back to the senders. Shut down and say the church. And the sister say with her mouth, he said, Master, I know her. I know you're a good man. I know it's your friend. But by this time, he smells already. Don't bother yourself. And Jesus looked at her. He said, Woman, don't understand that with men, this condition is impossible. With the devils, with those who kill, it's impossible. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. He said, I have come that Lazarus may have life. Because he's not just the one that gives life. He said, I am the author of life. I am the author and the giver of life. That's Yeshua Hamashiach. I call him the ancient of days. I call him the rock of ages. I call him the Alpha and Omega. I call him the beginning and the end. I call him the way maker. I call him Shekinah glory. I call him the name of God. I call him Elohim. I call him Jehovah Rapha. I call him Jehovah Lizzie. Leave my heart and shout, I hear you. Shout, I hear you. She said, don't worry, sir. But by this time, he smells already. And medically speaking, by this time, he already smells. That is the medical fear. But I like you to understand that Jesus Christ is the creator of the heavens and fear. So he has the power and authority to overrule death. Even though Lazarus was in the tomb for this long, with men, it was impossible. But when Jesus came, he said, I am the God of impossibility. I am the God. When you remove iron, it is God. Possible with God, possible with God, possible with Christ, possible with the Holy Ghost, possible. I have come, and the sister said, The boy, and Jesus said, Woman, don't perform resurrection. And the lady said, I know, I know, I know my brother will rise up again on the last day. Jesus said, No, hold it over there. I am not for the last day, I have come now that you may have life now, and also the last day. And the Bible said, She tried to procrastinate on the resurrection of his brother. I want you to understand that your faith might procrastinate. But we can only believe in Christ. This very day, you shall resurrect. Your destiny will resurrect. Your marriage will resurrect. My business will resurrect. My family will resurrect. My career will resurrect. Let your enemy rise the thunder. And he said, I don't bother. I have come that you may have life. I don't just give life. I am the author of life. I'm the creator of life. He said, I am the resurrection. I am the life. I have come for men to know. Have been given to me. Oh, dead, oh, dead. Where is your victory? I am the one that created them. I have come dead. That Lazarus may have life. I pray for you. Anyone who is certificate of death spiritually, right now, let him receive life. Receive life. Receive life. No man may have death. Receive life. No man have killed your life spiritually. Right now, receive life. He said the Gentiles, they move by sight. I don't move by sight. I don't move by faith. I move by faith. For Christ says, I know who I am. He says, I know. I know you are moved by what you see. I move by the mission. I have come not to save the righteous. I have come uh, to save, to save, not just your soul. He came to save it from what time dead. You don't hear me? He came to save our soul. I agree with you. He came to save us also from what time dead. So he said, I have come that they have life. I came as a savior to save that Lord. Yet they say he is dead. I don't think they ever saw someone in the But when Jesus come to town, resurrection is not there. I pray to them, any power of death that be contending with your destiny, let Jesus handle them. Most of the sicknesses are back up 
by demonic forces. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm studying healing right now. Yes, sir. Because we shall be entering healing on Fridays. We shall be having he only healing services. So I'm studying from the scripture. It's not the oh, they have kidney problem. It's not kidney problem. It's an arrow that was fired. I'm studying the scripture very well. Why would Jesus always come and command? You don't them and don't pay. Ouch! And when the thing goes out, the man will even speak. Tell me someone. So it is part of my thing and don't speak. Hallelujah. Asalim. So nothing is impossible. But it's possible to defeat death. By the power of the blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, we defeat. If you are in Christ, it's out of topic. Because death is not your portion. Amen. I say not your portion. Amen. I say not your portion. Amen. I said not your portion. I said not your portion. When they were in Egypt, hear me. Listen to me. Under the old covenant, they were not born again. Under the old covenant, they were not born again. Born again on new creation is on the new covenant. So we carry the Holy Ghost in us. The greatest thing that is in me. I carry Jesus in me. I carry power in me. I carry fire in me. So when you jump me, you die. I'll jump me, you scatter. What? I am operating as a new covenant creature. As a child of God, not as a pastor. I'm operating in the power of the Holy Ghost. By might I cannot. By my spirit, share the Lord. I'm operating under the canopy of the Holy Ghost. So death has no victory when Jesus is present. Because Jesus paid the price for death. He said, death, I have paid the price. Therefore, touch not my anointing and do my prophet. I'm not here. Uh, death might come. Say, oh, death, touch not my family and do my family. No, uh, death, you might come. Oh, death, touch not my children. Touch not my son. I pray. Whoever has fired death, let them swallow them all today. Yeah. I said today. Yeah. I said today. Yeah. I said today. Yeah. I said today. Rubbish. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's continue. Number three. It's a place of darkness where no activity takes place. The place, the coffin is a place of darkness. Stagnation is in the coffin. No activity, no human activity takes place. Rather, there are satanic confrontations in the coffin. I mean, not there. No physical activity takes place in the coffin in the grave. No, it's salvation and death. Rather, it is demonic confrontation. Activities in the coffin. Okay. Follow me. I used to love football. I used to be a midfielder. I used to be a very good player. I wanted to become a footballer. But my father said, No, you have to go to school. So I will, <laughs> my holidays are all football. From town to town, playing competition. And I give us much more money. And that was my hobby. I want to go for bowler. Every day I'm training. If I like to play like, like I like to play like Brazilians. Stylish football, that's what I love. Ta 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 ta, I'm very happy. When I make ta 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 ta, I raise the ball by head and pass the crowd shouts. Ah, I'm in charge. Are we together? You're not with me. <laughs> I love to do that kind of football, not to score, but just to make people know that this man is too good. So I used to love football. Follow me, everyone. I remember there was a time I was supposed to play a competition. And they said, the guys who are about to play, these guys have gone somewhere to take something, Papa. Let us also go somewhere to take something. I was very radical. I told them, you can go. Me, I will not go. I will use my Bible to pray. They said, the other side are gone. And for to be told, the other side always go. I know of a guy, number nine JC, of the other team. This guy is extremely good, slim like pencil. If he touches the ball in the <laughs> if he touches the ball close to the goal, forget, forget, he must go. If he does touches the ball, he has gone. Sometimes number four and five, they will not even see when he passed, he already scored and left. <laughs> To understand, that young man went somewhere and took charge for football. 
I'm preaching, I'm coming, I'm talking about the great man of God. He went and took charge. Not say I hate say they are well friends. Now footballers are always friends. We discuss. <laughs> we discuss things together. And we came to understand that he he crossed to the other side, water side, to go and pick up something. No matter how tight the defense is, this guy shut up, he has already gone down, he has gone. He's jumping back. <laughs> One day he went to reinforce that his matter. And they told him that in this match, if you don't score, you will die. He said, Yes, let me die. How much was the trophy even? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, thank you. Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. I say, God the Father. Thank you. I say, God the Son. I say, God the Holy Ghost. I say, God the Father. Thank you. Don't go for chance. Go for Jesus. Don't go for chance. Chance will fail you. Chance will fail you. Jesus Christ never fails. So he went somewhere. They told him, if you don't win this match, you will die. He said, yes, let me die. And we were playing this match. Playing this match. It was tight. Before we got to the field, our team went somewhere also. Where did they go to? They went to one man called Abel. This man is like, he's smaller than a pencil. He's like, he doesn't have waist. He's smaller than a pencil. And he drinks alcohol more than 1,000%. If you say, hey, you think he will fall. But this guy is, is an altar, a demonic altar himself. I know what I'm preaching about. When I'm preaching about household, I know what I'm talking about. I know the law of his place. My team went to Abel. Abel carried the ball. I was not there. I didn't go. I stand before God. I didn't go. Me and my elder brother, we didn't go. I stand before Jehovah. I didn't. I refused. We didn't go. I took my life. I was praying. They said, we will not bless you. You go and pray and win. Let me see. In the end, they had to come for me to come and pray. I asked them what happened. They said, we went there. Abel took us to the graveyard. And they slept in the graveyard that night. Not in a grave, graveyard. Yard, yard, yard. Not one grave, graveyard. They went to sleep there. Why? They went to draw power. They went to draw power. They said, the one went there. And what they said, in this one, they said, in this one, he was calling spirits. He was calling spirits from the grave with them. He said, when he finishes, they sacrifice a chicken, something like that. I was told that I was just to be told. And he said, when we are going back, he ever will go in front and, oh, and, 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 and they'll be following him on, in the line. So he says, straight line. He, the, the man, will be in front. So if, if they hear any sound behind, if you turn, you go. It's up to you, you die. And they accepted because they wanted to win a match which is not up to 600 dirham stuff. I'm alone in this church. <laughs> not that I had, I was in that, in that match. <laughs> they came. Let's tell you, man. See, I saw something. The way guys were playing, it was as if they were going in the air. Pia, 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 pia. Ah, this one is too much. Really. No, they went somewhere. They caught the grave has power. So men throw power from the grave. That's what I promise the example. Yes, it happened to our team. Time that I did not go. And they played the match. Towards the end of the match, the match was about to end. This guy that went somewhere has fought himself. He began to cry. He was playing football and was crying because he knows he will die. He will, he will play anyhow to score for them to win because they said if they don't, if they don't win, he will die. He said yes. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Unfortunately for us, because when power jump power, I said when power when they went to was higher than the graveyard, they crossed water. They crossed water. When they went to, they went to Obdino, Obdino land. 
était to get power. En train de trouver ça. For how much for the direct trophy? Devils, no prayer. Then towards the end, this guy was crying. And what we did was, since we noticed, since we noticed it, we now put four attackers to attack a young man. Then uh, we parlock him together. Pam, I, I heard. I said, you will not score. You will not score today. We parlock him. The guy was begging us. He was not begging that this I beg, I will die if you don't win. In the match. <laughs> Party, how much is the trophy? He said, I will die and for him. For him. He was crying and begging. He was begging us, please, I will die, please, I will. He was not joking. So in the end, we just allowed everything and the guy scored. Hear me, I'm not sorry. He scored and the match ended. So they won. So he never died. One day, 99 days for a thief. One day is for the owner. When you took the powers, one day you will be. You might have escaped from that match because we agreed. But one day you swam it all. So what happened one day? I left, I left that area. I went to USA. I left that area. I went to somewhere I was doing all things. I heard that they went somewhere in this kind of matches that confusion like that it was heavy. Another person went somewhere and did something it was in fact it was like something. So in the end, in the end, they said they played until no way. No way, no way, no way. That was his covenant. That was his covenant. No way, no way. And after the match, they went for penalties. And they won the other team. Ladies and gentlemen, truth be told, that young man died for him and he was buried in the ground. Because of what? The power of the grave. Grave is never satisfied. The coffin is never. Have you ever heard they say coffin is finished? Talk to me, somebody. And they can say, uh, there's, there's shortage of water supply in this water. And then never can say, no, we don't have enough energy to give body to us. So we reserve it for coca. Are we together? Yeah, we can have shortage of power supply. But there's never a shortage of coffins. Why? It is never, it is always a restless and pray whoever is using the coffin power to attack your destiny, whoever has put up your life in a coffin, I pray let them enter their coffin and die in a hurry. Die in a hurry. Die in a hurry. Die in a hurry. Sit down and shout and see the child. <laughs> no one understand it. When a man is under their grip, he can fulfill God's given purpose. When a man, a person, is under the grip of the influence of these powers, nothing to show. They can walk hard. Uh, they, uh, they, they, they can walk hard, nothing to show. They are helpers who will scared away from them. Spiritually, they may be aspirated and they may be dead. Why? Because they are under the grip and influence of the power of the coffin or the grave. And some people are locked up in spiritual grave. But that's what life is hard for them. Things are not fulfilled while they are locked up. Listen, gentlemen. It, listen, gentlemen. I told us one time. Who buried your placenta? Determine somebody that will determine your destiny. The person that buried your placenta, if he's a good man or good woman, you only miss God. If the person that buried your placenta is a witch or a wizard, you have a hand up. Because God is a placenta and lock it in the grave. When they lock your placenta in the coffin, in the grave, nothing to show. Only when the hand of God comes and opens that grave or that coffin. Today, I believe the Lord, His hand will enter that coffin. His hand will enter that grave. And deliver your destiny. And deliver you. Deliver your family. Someone say, yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, method of oppression. Number one, how do they operate? How do they operate? Number one, tell me. They, can, they, take, they normally take ground from the cemetery and pour on victims' doors. Please follow me, very important. Some people go to the cemetery, not just some people, household enemies. A normal human being will not go to the cemetery to pick up. A normal human being will not do that. But a household enemy, they go because they know there is power there. There is power there. So they go to the cemetery and pick up the ground. Pick up the ground. Let me advise you. Not every burial you see is a physical burial. The people close their burial, 
Ah, uh, the people in church speak by here. They came to take the girl. Why? Because they want to use it for communication. Hear me very well. Life is spiritual and men are wicked. And so they go out, they go to the cemetery and they pick the crown from the cemetery and they can throw it, they can throw the crown on your double spiritually. And when you come out in the morning, some of us don't even pray in the morning. We just we just wake up in the morning. We just yawn, ha ha, we yawn. The next thing is we check our phone. Who we'll send me what's up? And after that, we go and brush, shower, and go out. You are telling me, say, Lord, I thank you for this day. You are going to pray to Jesus. You just go out. As you go out, you have stepped across what came from the cemetery, which means that your destiny is already in the hands of the spirit of the grave. Thomas are here. Someone said, hey, always pray in the morning, not phone. First thing in the morning, thank the Lord Jesus, appreciate him, and pray in the morning before phone. A good number of us phone first and Jesus go away. Then when there's calamity, pastor, pastor, look at pastor, it's not pastor, pastor, call Jesus, not pastor. I am limited at a point in time, the cross is unlimited. Someone said, hey, together. Someone said, hey, I am limited as a person, I am limited, I'm confined in the presence. But the Holy Ghost is everyone the same time. So call on Jesus. When you call on Jesus, he will lose his spirit. Because the Holy Ghost is everyone the same time. When you call on Jesus, the Holy Ghost will appear. He will come. He will be here. So you need to be there yourself in the social with Christ. Not phone, not WhatsApp. Show up your phone. Listen, they will hear me very well. Your WhatsApp will keep you spiritual and physical. I'm in love with this When we come in the morning, first of all, pray. If that business is for you, God will keep it for you. Yeah. Have you not understood? Don't you know? When it's almost 150, you go to a shop to buy. You can be my whole 500 dirhams to spend that money all in that shop. But the man that will tell you, no, friend, I go pray now. You wait, I go come back, you come, okay? With all confidence and assurance, because he knows that they are God will do it. If this money is for me, my God will do it, that you will stay for me. Is it true? The Christian, no, mba. No way. Christian will say, ah, God, uh, God, someone has come here. Uh, ah, uh, God, wait, I'll come to church today. Any great thing is okay, God, you understand. Let me send my customer for, and God is just watching. Now, this one, one by my hand, not my face. No obedience to Christ. No fear of God. Christians. I'm not saying the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying the truth. Yes, but the, all, the people of the other religion will not. Even if you want to, they will tell you, wait, I'm going to pray now. It's prayer time. They will not serve you. Because they understand the place of prayers. Pray in the morning before you leave the house. Very important. So they go to the cemetery and they take crown and they come and throw on victims' post. When they throw on victims' house, like they take it, they throw on your door, you pass it. That house now is very spiritual. Destinies are very there. It takes a higher power to overrule that power. You cannot fight them. You don't have power to fight them. But there's a power that is higher. In Egypt, the Bible says, when the angel of death, God says, I will release the angel of death. He said that if I release at midnight, uh, Moses and Aaron, tell the people, tell the people to slay a bull, slay a cow, slay a lamb, and let them use the blood and put on their doorposts. Let them mark their doorposts with the blood of the lamb. Because my angel of death is about to pass. So when I go and I see the blood, I will pass over. So what makes death to pass over your house is not your prayers. It's the blood of Jesus. We always invoke the blood over your family, over your house, over your career. Every time, prayer is not small. Pray all the time. The Bible says, pray without sin. Men are all to pray and not fail. Pray all the time. Use the blood. Use the blood. I speak in the blood over my house. I speak in the blood over my family. I speak in the blood. I invoke the blood. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. Whatever was done, the blood has been shown. The blood has speak a better word. That the blood of heaven. The blood of Jesus speaks protection. When the bring that down from the cemetery and pour around my house, you are wasting your time. Because the blood is all over my house. For my strength shall the man prevent. So much shall I hear you. I am a ruled by the blood of Jesus. And they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Not your prayer. The blood has power. There is power. Power. One just walking power in the blood.
Hallelujah. Someone say Hallelujah. <laughs> Number two, they can put pictures, money, certificates, marriages, businesses in a coffin. Who you paid your school fees? Determine how well you will become a future. Who you paid your school fees? Who you took your dowry when you got married? Who you took your dowry? Who you collected it? Who you determine how stable your marriage will be? If a witch or a wizard collected your dowry, you have enough to fight. You might be fighting against the spirit of the grave. Because your marriage can die. A marriage can die. You must talk to me. <laughs> so they can put your picture in the coffin. Fiscally, you are going to Alhambra Mall to buy. Fiscally, you are going to Bosch Arab to take pictures. You are going to Bosch to buy. They have Bosch, 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 Khalifa, Bosch, Dubai, Bosch, Pascal, all the Bosch you have, you are going to Bosch to take pictures, to enjoy yourself. But you are doing that when you are in a coffin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> They are putting this picture of coffin. Let that coffin right now. Let it be lost by fire. Walk and walk and walk, wanted to show. It doesn't matter. Hear me. 
a coffin is an evil bank. Listen to me. In the fiscal realm, we have banks. We have evil banks where we save money. Likewise, a coffin is also an evil bank. I want to pray for somebody's offering. Any bank in the form of coffin, turning your money, let it catch fire right now. So be careful who you borrow money to. Be careful who you give money to. It might not be poor. It might be using money against you. Someone say I hear you. Someone say I hear you. So when the money goes to their coffin, they can use it to lock your hand spiritually. Because the money comes from your hand. And when they lock your hand spiritually, nothing to show. You level for nothing. And in the end, you become a laughter. Because your hands are chained in the coffin. So whatever you walk there, it's transferred to you. Nobody will walk. Stay in my hearing. You will not walk and let somebody eat for nothing. Be him. You will not labor and somebody is directing your money in their coffin. You will not labor and they direct your money into the grave. Anyone that is directing your money, that they say, she has gone to Dubai. He has gone to Dubai. He has she will labor and the money will come to us. He has she will labor and the death will come to us. Let that place right now be on fire. 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 Let it explode by fire. Let your name be shown at home in your house. Hear me and pray for you. Any evil pump in your house that is to be your money. Any evil pump in your father's house that is to be your money. Let them touch fire. Let them touch fire. I like the voice behind that small child. Church. They can send wind. They can send wind from the grave, from the coffin, to direct your life and bring you in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the north, south, east wind. It was the east wind that blew in Egypt. And we saw the miracles. The east wind will blow, the west wind will blow. God uses wind as a weapon. Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. So, talk to me. Am I okay? Jehovah uses wind. Because the one wind of the Lord, you are the east wind. And it says, it says, and I prophesy. I prophesy. And the wind blew and gathered bone to bone. Why? That's the, that's, that's the spirit of God. Are we so, the house of enemies, evil men, they also use wind. When an evil wind is blowing, Jesus says, uh, Jesus, he told the disciples, now let's go to the other side. Listen to me, the other side of life is better. The other side of that country is better. Am I not here? Am I not here? Uh, the other side is better. Hear me, I speak in parables. I'm on camera. The other side of the country is better. And Jesus says, let's go to the other side. And the disciples, they follow. When they enter the boat to start navigating, here comes an evil it was not the wind of God. It was from the enemy. Why? Because the enemy uses that wind for them not to arrive at their destination. I went together. Because when the wind is against you, you might not arrive. Or you might be diverted. Or you might be delayed. I pray for somebody. Any evil wind. Hear me be fine today. The Bible says in the book of Job. What killed Job children is not the devil. It's the evil wind that was released by the devil. And the wind blew from the wilderness and struck the house. And they died. The wind blew. The wind. I don't know who is using wind against you. He has been a gentleman. I don't know who is using any evil wind against your destiny. I don't know who is using any wind from the way against your life. Let that wind right now reverse back to center. Reverse 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 to center. I pray for you. Any agenda of evil wind. Let it go back to center. I tell you, even when we can come to stop me, we can come to delay, we can come to cover, we can even kill a human being. They are satanic wings. They can be protected from the grave. They can be released from the power. I stand in the name of Jesus. Any evil wind that we brought against 
salvation by the blood of Jesus. I Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Note if there is a rampant death in your family, the power of the grave or the coffin is at work. This one that I'm hearing, huh, I want to ask them, my friend, with those things. Attack the power of the coffin, the grave. Somebody is using that in your house. Number two, if you see yourself eating and celebrating with dead people, this power is against you already. Oh, my grandmother came and was eating. Ah, she swallowed a bath. And I took the meat and I was always chatting down. Ah, you are already in the grip of this power. The living and the dead have nothing to do. My, my grandfather, my mother, two weeks ago, please hear yeah, me. Yeah. Pastor may not have given you money. You don't know the battles I fight for you. If I tell us the things I find every day, you will not believe me. Thanks be to God. Victory is always assured. Jesus is always there for me. I say he's always there. I give him back the glory. Time, he shows me all the time. Look at that song. Look at, look at what I've to do. Block it this way. I block it. <laughs> no stress. Someone's have in charge. Someone's have in charge. I saw my 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 late grandfather, my father's father, and the junior brother, they came to me, and my father's father stood in a distance. So he sent the junior brother to me, and, he, and the junior brother was coming to me, I was happy and smiling. I stood there, I said, in the name of Jesus, go back! And he looked at me, he said, don't you know me? I said, go back! To see these things. Hallelujah. Someone say, talk to me. Someone say, talk to me. When you receive, let me know. When you perceive a horrible bad order, the spirit of death is now. I know I'm not just talking from the Bible. I'm experiencing this one. Sometimes I minister, I see a black smoke. Yeah. And the Lord will say, that's death, you just cast it away. Black smoke, Piap, you move out very smart and fast. Piap. Fiat, it moves like that very fast. I've seen it so more than five, six, seven times. It's pure death. I said, that is death. Who am I? It's only by the hand of God. Let's put the hands on the Lord Jesus. If you're not there for your reach, always. Put your hands on the Lord Jesus. Put your hands on the Lord Jesus. Put your hands on the Lord Jesus. No, no, no. It's by his hand. It's by hand. Put your hands together the Holy Ghost. No, no, no. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Please let me continue. So when you perceive that bad order, you think somebody farted. Nobody farted around you. The power of the grave, of the coffin, is high. Follow me, my man. And you notice that it's so strong. In a particular location, and after a few minutes, you don't perceive it anymore. Few minutes, few seconds, the spirit of death is now. The power of the covenant is there to take somebody. In that case, I face at two times twice. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of death, I bind in the name of you. Go and come back now. No manners, it's not about manners, it's death, it's not fat. Someone's are here. Someone's are here. I know some people can do very badly. Let's go to let's be for the Bible. I'm just talking about it can come in that in that form. So you might be you might be deceived. Hallelujah. 
If you see yourself falling in a pit in your dream, the power of the grave is after you. The covering is after you. In your dream, you saw yourself falling in a pit. This power is after you. If you see yourself getting married to a dead man or a dead woman, this power is after you. Oh, she died a long time ago. So why are you getting married to her? Means you are going to the land of the dead. Are we together? Let's open to Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. Someone say, talk to me. Someone say, oh Lord. Burn their coffins. <laughs> say, oh Lord. Burn their coffins. Luke chapter 7. Verse 11. Man said that how I had it. Luke 7 verse 11. Let me read it and not paraphrase it. It says, Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain. And the name Nain. And his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. Verse number 12. As they approached the town gate, someone said the town gate. Someone said the town gate. I can say the town gate. As they approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried. The only son of a mother. And she was a widow. And a large crowd was fallen crowd from the town was in her. Listen to the front of the When Jesus entered this village, the devil says, at the gate, he noticed that they were carrying a coffin with a son, a child inside. They were going to where? They were going to the cemetery. They were marching out of the village to the cemetery. And when they got to the gate, Jesus met them at the gate. He looked at them. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, the crowd has come. Uh, and they were also falling. Which means that no one in the crowd could help the widow and bring back the son. No one in the crowd could help that child in the coffin. No one in the crowd could fight against the spirit of the coffin. No one in the crowd could bind and lose uh, the spirit of death. When Jesus got uh, at the gate of the village, he looked at it. <laughs> he looked at them. And someone said, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Someone said, Jesus. Someone said, Jesus. Look in my family. Someone said, Jesus. Look into my life. Someone said, Jesus. I can I say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Look upon me. Uh, he said, when Jesus looked and he saw, and the Bible said, and they stopped. And uh, he went to the woman. And he noticed that she was a widow. And he told her, Woman, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, why will you tell the woman, don't worry, because solution has come? Why will you not worry when the child is gone? Why will you not worry when the child is in the coffin? But when Jesus comes, the scales have gone. When Jesus comes, power has changed. When Jesus has come, solution has come. And the Bible said, He told the woman, Woman, don't worry, don't cry. Why? Those who ready to cry, they shall cry and cry. I pray for somebody. Anyone that is in the cover to make you cry. Let them cry your 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 cry. In the village, it happened at the gate. When Jesus is there, there's revival. I don't care how long that circumstance has been. That's how my life is there. Your life is not there. Jesus is coming today. He's coming today. That's how the Lord has happened to my life. My life is upside down. It's rising and falling. Let's have my happiness for you. Jesus is coming today. He's coming for you. And the Bible said, He told the woman, Woman, don't cry. I came to tell somebody, Sister, don't cry. I came to tell your brother, Brother, don't cry. The Lord is on his way. Jesus is coming. The one that had the solution is coming. The coffin, in that case, the finish God, the coffin has concluded. In that case, the finish God, the coffin has a financing. I came to tell you, the coffin has no financing. The guy has no financing. Jesus has a financing. The Bible said, when Jesus met the man the day and he touched, the Bible said, he went to the coffin and he touched the coffin. Why? The problem was not the spirit of death. The problem began from the coffin. So the connection between death and that child was the coffin. So he touched the problem. He touched the problem. I pray for you this afternoon. Any coffin, any coffin in the spiritual realm that is carrying your destiny, let it go down by fire. Go down by fire. Go down by fire. Go to ashes. 
ashes. Go to ashes. Go to ashes. Go to ashes. He said the men at the gate when they were leaving the village. I don't know who's in your village. What is moving on with a coffin with a spirit on them? I don't know who your father saw is moving out of the village with a coffin into a cemetery to bury your destiny. That individual, let it expire in the head. Be 
born again. Jesus Christ must be your Lord and your Savior. You must confess your sins to Christ and come to Him and accept Him as a Lord and Savior. Even though you cannot find His powers. And you must live a holy life. Not just be born again, you must live in absolute holiness and obedience to Him called Jesus Christ. And next thing is we have to fire prayers. Can we start to our